Welcome back. So we're walking through this document, Control for Societal Scale Challenges, Roadmap 2030, which is an IEEE Control System Society publication. And now I'm going to zoom in to chapter two, which is all about the societal drivers and challenges that are essentially motivating us to join together and to work together to find control theory solutions. Okay, this is one of the most important chapters of this roadmap. I wanna say it's about a third of the entire document, about 80 pages long. And so this really does set the stage for what are the societal scale challenges that motivate our next genera generation uh, kind of collaborative, cooperative control solutions. Okay, so this is uh, where it's at. Again, link in the description below. Download it, read it yourself. This is gonna be a very topical, very kind of shallow, pick and choose, uh, high level overview of this chapter. There is so much depth and substance here that I can't cover in this video. So I highly encourage you to read this yourself. Get inspired, get motivated, uh, you know, and actually get working on these problems. So some of the uh, sections here, we're gonna talk about climate change, mitigation and adaptation. So climate change uh, is an issue that faces uh, humankind at large. How do we start to address, to mitigate and to adapt with control theory uh, based on the Earth's changing climate? Healthcare and ensuring the quality of life. This is, again, something that affects essentially all humans is health and well-being. This is one of the goals uh, across the entire globe, across every age group, uh, is having a healthy uh, quality life. And how can, again, control theory help with both you know, medical devices, but also things like sensing and diagnosis, prediction, intervention, and also the fair and equitable distribution of medical resources. Really, really important societal level challenge. Smart infrastructure systems. Uh, this is really, really essential. If we think about uh, transportation, energy, food, you know, you name it, infrastructure systems are becoming instrumented, electrified, uh, communications networks are tying these together. So what is, uh, what is that gonna mean for us? What are the challenges? How do we, how do we work towards that and live you know, with these smart infrastructure systems? Uh, the sharing economy, I think this is super interesting. This is something I hadn't really thought of until I read this, uh, this roadmap, is things like Uber and Lyft and Airbnb. When you have resources that different people kind of share, almost like a timeshare, uh, how do you develop the control strategies for making sure, again, that there is equitable access, that things work together, that you have enough resources? Um, lots of interesting control theory challenges in the sharing economy. I learned a lot reading that section. Uh, resilience is another big issue. So when you have uh, you know, large scale global issues like climate change, like uh, political instabilities and you know, war, there is the necessity to have your societal scale infrastructure have a basic resiliency. We want to have tolerance to faults and issues that arise in our, in our system, in our societal scale systems. And so resilience is something that again, control theory can really uh, help address. Things like robustness and distributed resources, network security, things like that. Uh, and there's actually two really cool appendices to this fantastic chapter that I like a lot. One is about pandemics, uh, how we model and control. So very topical with uh, COVID-19. Again, it's related to healthcare and ensuring the quality of life, but this is kind of a deeper dive into pandemics. Uh, and similarly, a deeper dive into neuroengineering, which is a field of tremendous uh, potential and impact uh, and development that's being driven by, by control theory. Okay, super exciting chapter. I'm just gonna give you a very, very, very high level sneak peek of some of the things you know, in here. So I'm gonna pick and choose some of the ones I think are interesting and maybe some of the ones you know, I might know a little teeny bit about. Again, read this yourself, download this, um, you know, see if there are some of these that you wanna get working on, that you want to start applying your trade and your control theory expertise to actually start addressing. 
So climate change is one that's kind of easy to wrap our heads around in terms of this is a societal scale challenge. This is something that is, uh, you know, is and will be increasingly affecting all of us. And this is something that we need to address with the best, sharpest tools we have available as humans. So clearly, uh, some of the issues related to climate change are modeling. How do you model how a system, a complex, multi-scale, multi-physics dynamical system evolves in the future? How do you predict and estimate? How do you bound and manage your uncertainty of those, those estimates? Those are very closely related to control theory problems. Problems. And similarly, once you have those models and estimates, how do you how do you place sensors? How do you use your sensor network to better inform those models? And ultimately, how do we actually intervene? This is really where control theory comes in. How do we actuate? How do we intervene in this system to mitigate the effects of climate change? To actually, you know, bring the system into some kind of regulatory balance that you know is good for for life on Earth. And and similarly, for some cases where we can't mitigate the changes, how do we adapt as a society? How do we adapt our infrastructure? How do we adapt our energy systems and, and things like that, our, our food and agriculture? So these are mitigation and adaptation strategies driven by control uh, because of this societal scale challenge of climate change. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that this, uh, this roadmap is really uh, looking at, is what are the huge challenges and what are some of the ways that we need to use control theory to address these. Um, I think there's some really cool diagrams and data in this roadmap that I found pretty useful. So this is you know, global greenhouse gas, gas emissions by sector in the year 2016. And this kind of information is really helpful when we as engineers are trying to solve a problem you have to be able to kind of quantitatively break the problem down and see where do you actually focus your energy as a control theorist. So, you know, this gives you some idea of where you might want to kind of start zooming in and focusing and understanding uh, at finer resolution. And there's a lot of cool recommendations. One of the things I really like about this roadmap is, uh, you know, there is an executive summary for every chapter and every section. Uh, there are recommendations for practitioners, for funding agencies. There are, you know, short-term, medium-term, and long-term opportunities. And so I think this is a very thoughtful and very well-organized uh, kind of resource to get people thinking on the same page. You might not agree with every single thing in here. I don't know that anyone is going to, um, but it's it's so well organized that we know exactly where we can have discussions and where we can focus our energy and kind of uh, start to to do more research and and, uh, and activities. Okay, so that was climate change, just one you know section in this massive chapter. Another one I think is super important is uh, kind of the healthcare and you know biotechnology and you know neurotechnology things like that so some of the applications that i thought were really interesting was um, you know the rise of the internet of things especially in medicine is going to be a huge deal so i took off my you know smartwatch which measures my you know heart rate how i sleep all of my biometrics but increasingly we're going to have this kind of medical internet of things that's going to have this immense amount of data that can be used Used. So how is that going to affect things? Um, things like uh, automated insulin delivery or automated uh, anesthesiology or anesthetics, these are going to be game changers uh, in the medical industry and for increasing quality of life and healthcare outcomes for you know, hopefully millions if not billions of people worldwide. Uh, cardiac assist devices, right? So um, you know, things that actually help people's hearts uh, stay healthy healthy, uh, you know, in, in lots of different scenarios. Um, diabetes, again, insulin, I think, is a, a major, major one of these. So there's so many applications in the healthcare realm. And one of the things I thought was really cool about this particular uh, roadmap is there seems to be a thread going throughout about not just solving these problems for a few, but how do we solve these problems in a way that is equitable and fair and distributed so that everybody gets to benefit from these advances. I think that's a really, really cool perspective and something I, I liked a lot that I, I didn't necessarily uh, expect coming into reading this, um, but I, I took away and I liked a lot. 
Um, you know, the neural engineering is another huge field that I think it's it's not just super cool because it's sci-fi, you know, high tech implants and brain stimulation and things like that, but this can have real actual impact in improving quality of life. So there are deep brain stimulation devices right now that use closed loop feedback control, uh, for example, to control Parkinson's or extreme cases of obsessive compulsive disorder. And so these are really cool technologies that um, in extreme cases are helping people regain basic regulatory functions uh, in their body. And this is something I wanted to, to kind of convey after reading this is, when you think about healthcare and human health, our bodies are essentially a control system. Our climate is a control system and our bodies are a control system. And so if you really think about it, uh, control theory can help us bring those systems back into regulation, back into good, you know, healthy working order when they start to go out uh, of, re of, regulate, of, um, of bounds or when, when our systems stop being able to regulate themselves naturally. And so I think that's a really cool perspective in kind of climate and in health is that feedback control, it's inherent to those systems naturally, but we as humans can augment those control systems and get even better uh, outcomes. Okay, so those are just a number of the things that you're gonna uh, read about in this chapter. I think it's super, super cool. Again, these are grand challenge problems. These are problems that affect you know, billions of people. They are trillions of dollar problems. They have huge impact in our future, in the future uh, of our lives, of our children. So really exciting, and this should get us motivated and inspired to actually start you know, applying the great work we're doing in control theory to help make a difference here. All right, thank you.